Good morning, everyone, and happy Friday. Congratulations, you made it through another week of online learning. Today, I have a little special treat for you. I wanted to show you how I made those beautiful acrylic pores that I showed you at the beginning of the week. So I'm going to be experimenting with some new supplies today in this video, and I want to show you exactly what I'll be using. So to do these, I bought, this is Arteza brand pouring acrylic colors. Okay, I got a whole big box of 32 of them, so I have all different colors. So I am using a neon pink, an ultramarine blue, a mid yellow, and a titanium white as my colors. You'll see in the video that I have these little graduated cups, these little graduated cylinders. They have measurements on the side that make it easy for me to tell how much paint I need to be pouring. I'm using these little dipsticks to stir what I need to be stirring up. Um, I'm experimenting today with some silicone pouring oil. Apparently this is supposed to create cells in my painting. I guess you'll see that when we experiment with it. And just for me as an adult, not for you, I'm experimenting with what is called a cooking torch today. This is something we use to make um, fancy desserts like creme brulee and things. I wanted to experiment it, but this is not for you to experiment with. Only adults, got it? Alright, so I'm gonna flip over. You'll see I have um, a little mat down so that I don't ruin my desk because um, this gets quite messy. And I'm using a canvas to pour this onto. Alright, let's check it out. Alright, so this is my station I have set up here with my canvas. Like I said, I have a mat down because this is gonna get messy. I already used these uh, dipsticks to um, mix my silicone and my paints that I have. So you can see I already have my paints inside the graduated cylinders. I've measured each cup to have about uh, a half of an ounce each of my colors that I plan to do so that in total by the end with my four colors I will have two ounces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an empty cup and I'm gonna start pouring these into here, layering them one on top of another. You'll see that I tilt sideways to pour the liquid in so that it doesn't just go clunk on top of each other. All right, here we go. mixed together. It looks like I have a little less than two ounces that I had planned to. That's probably from the remnants that are left in the cup. So I'm going to try pouring with this first and if I don't have enough I will mix some more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this cup and I'm going to be flipping the cup onto the canvas. So to do that, I'm gonna have the cup underneath, the canvas on top. I'm gonna position my cup in the middle of the canvas. And then I'm gonna go ahead, put my hand on top. My other hand was on the cup down below. Set this down gently. And I'm gonna let this sit here for about a minute to let the silicone get to the top. All right, it's been sitting for about a minute, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and release my cup. You're going to see it go with the color, and then I'm going to start tilting my canvas. Here we go. I'm going to take the remnants, and I'm going to kind of just push them off over here. And now let's start going. <laughs> Again, this is just for adults, no kids, sorry. <laughs> Acrylic pour. 
sure. Now, at the beginning of the week, this last week, and when my husband and I had done acrylic pours, all we did is we just used these acrylic pour paints and layered them on top of one another to create our little mini canvases that we did like this. So we hadn't experimented with silicone or the cooking torch yet or anything like that. So this was just straight acrylic pour paints. Um, and they turned out pretty cool too. I have to say, I like the silicone and I like the cooking torch, but I'm still getting used to what colors work best together on this. I 100% love these colors way more than I think I like the one I did here, but it's an experimentation process, trying to figure out what works best together. I think the bottom of mine kind of turned out a little swampy, but that's experiments for you. I think I love the top of it. I'm gonna post a picture at the very end of the final product since it's still drying and I want to be able to show you guys I got a better lighting picture of it but overall I'm pretty excited about doing a bigger one of these this weekend with even better colors and I'll make sure to show that to you guys have a great weekend guys See ya.